Hey guys, it's Cody back with another video. Um, today in this video, it's going to be an autograph update. Uh, this past weekend, I went down to Tampa, Florida with my dad for WrestleMania weekend. I was there for WrestleCon. It was my first ever WrestleCon. And I went to a couple indie shows, so this is going to be an autograph update. I have four figures, ten trading cards, a Funko Pop, a couple 8x10s, two comic books, and many signatures and my second and fourth editions of my encyclopedias. So to start off, I'm going to show you guys the pop I got. This is number 41. It's signed in yellow paint pen marker. It's WWE Hall of Famer, the million dollar man, Ted DiBiase. He was really nice. Next, I'll show you guys the two comic books I have. The first one is an exclusive signed in green paint pen marker by Kevin Nash. Kevin Nash is really cool. And the second one is a WWE written comic book signed by Matt Cardona, formerly known as Zack Ryder. And that was like Zack Ryder's first post-WWE convention appearance. Next, I'll show you guys my figures. First one is from Series 110, first time in the line basic figure signed by Mike Kanellis. Next, I have a WWE Elite Flashback Series figure signed by Alundra Blaze. Next, I have a Classic Superstars from Series 12 signed by Dean Malenko, who's now with AEW. Dean Malenko is really cool. He didn't really talk much because he's really sick. Now, this one, this last one is really cool. Came out really nice in red paint pen, personalized to me and everything. And she really, she's really sweet. If you guys ever get the chance to meet this chick, you better take, take the opportunity. It is former WWE Diva, former Divas Champion, and former Women's Champion, Layla. To Cody, love Layla, ECW, hashtag flawless, and then a heart. I got a VIP package with Layla. It got me, it was supposed to get me two autographs and a photo op. She signed five things for me and took a picture for a hundred bucks. So that's pretty cool because it's like she just started taking appearances. So there's Layla. Next I'll show you guys the cards I got done. First one is Zack Ryder. Former TNA knockout Lacey Von Eric. Layla. Gail Kim, Classic Superstar, I mean not Classic Superstars, Tops Platinum. Gail Kim was like the first person I met all weekend. Luke Gallows. Gallows and Anderson were probably like the best tag team I met all freaking weekend. Carl Anderson. Terry Runnels. Maria Canellis. Mike Bennett as Mike Canellis. And then the last one I got is former NXT superstar and current knockouts champion Deanna Perrazzo. Now I'm going to show you guys my 8x10s and then I'll show the encyclopedia signatures. Alright, 8x10s. We got Terry Runnels, Maria. Lacey Von Eric, Layla, Zach Ryder, Diana Perrazzo, Mike Bennett. And this one was really cool because she recognized me from a couple previous appearances. Melina. And then the last one I got is Mike Knox, signed as Nux. Mike Knox was actually really cool too. Um, I got him at WrestleCon and WrestleStock. 
Um, WrestleStock took place about 10 minutes away from where WrestleCon was being held at a American Legion. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys the autographs I got in my encyclopedias. This is the second edition of the encyclopedia. And you guys know this is like my prized possession in my collection. So I'm just going to flip through this page by page and go from there. Because I did get many signatures in this in these books this past weekend. Because WrestleCon was really, really fun. And side note, it was also <laughs> really, really expensive. And I can't wait for Dallas next year, because that's where they're going to be having WrestleCon, and I will be there next year as well. And they had a lot of big ticket names on this year's WrestleCon. They had, like, Ricky Steamboat, Arn Anderson, Ted DiBiase, um, Dean Malenko was a rare one. Dean Malenko very rarely does signings anymore, so I figured get him while I still could. So the first autograph I got in here from WrestleCon is Dean Malenko, right there. Dean Malenko was actually, he was really nice for how sick he was. And a lot of people on the second day that were there were not advertised. I know Matt Seidel from AEW was there. And the headbanger showed up, and a bunch of others. It was really, really a good event. Next autograph I got in the second edition is Gail Kim. Gail Kim was really cool. Just trying to make sure I don't miss anybody. Got the headbangers, Mosh and Thrasher. Like I said, you, you guys, I have so many freaking signatures in this book, it's not even funny. It's like my project, in a sense, when I go to these cons. Comma. Next one I got in this book is Layla. Layla was really cool. Luke Gallows. Maria. I was supposed to meet Mark Henry, but he canceled last minute, which sucked, but I understood why. Mike Knox. Ted DiBiase. Sorry, it's taking me so long, guys. This book is huge. I 
I was also supposed to meet Taryn Terrell, but she canceled as well. Alright, I think... Wait, there might be like one more in here. Hold on. Yeah, that's it for the second edition. And then I'll show you guys the fourth edition. The fourth edition is like the newest one. This one, I actually got some cool ones in as well. Okay, so the first one I got in here this weekend, this past weekend, was Brooke, also known as Miss Tessmacher, from Impact Wrestling. Got Chavo Guerrero. David Hart Smith. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson together. Mike Kanellis or Mike Bennett. Next one I got is Terry Runnels.
got Victoria, signed in red. And then the last one I got in here is Zack Ryder. So guys, that is my WrestleCon autograph update from April 9th and April 10th from Tampa, Florida. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.